Hey everybody, uh, it's really great to be here. Um, my name is Josh Nesbitt, and I'm the co-founder and executive director of Frontline SMS Medic, uh, and we are a nonprofit organization uh, that focuses on using mobile tools to help create connected and coordinated health systems that save more lives. Um, we work across 11 countries, and we really focus uh, on global uh, and ongoing crises, um, combating HIV, tuberculosis, maternal deaths, malaria, um, but we also worked uh, with many of you on 4636 in Haiti um, and are working on a dynamic resource mapping platform uh, in Pakistan. Um, but today I'm, I'm really excited uh, to share with everybody um, some new plugins uh, for a particular tool that we use, Frontline SMS, um, and to get your feedback on them really is, is what I want to do. Um, so Frontline SMS uh, is a really simple, lightweight tool. Um, it's being used by NGOs all over the world, uh, and it's basically uh, a text messaging platform that will run on a desktop or a laptop computer, and you either tether a mobile phone uh, by USB cable, or you plug in uh, a GSM modem, uh, and you, you pop in a local SIM card, uh, and that gives you uh, an out-of-the-box SMS hub. Um, so this server uh, can be used uh, to do really interesting stuff. Um, you, can con you can basically uh, organize uh, contact groups and subgroups, uh, you can manage uh, large amounts of incoming and outgoing text messages, um, and then you can start to trigger keywords uh, using uh, sort of action tab um, to do auto replies, auto forwarding, uh, trigger external commands, uh, things like that. Um, we also just built an MMS feature with, which lets you receive uh, multimedia messages, uh, video, uh, short video, uh, and images uh, through, through Frontline. So a lot of our end users are patients, um, but more actually members of closed networks uh, like community health workers um, or remote health staff. Um, and with these closed networks, a lot of what we want to do is collect structured information. So uh, apologize ahead of time for the screenshots, uh, but this is uh, frontline forms. So you can basically drag and drop different fields that you want, then export these forms to handsets uh, in the field. And these handsets are running a J2ME client, uh, and these are 30 uh, 40, 45 dollar handsets. Um, so we're running a graphical user interface, uh, users flipping through this form and then uploading uh, the data by SMS. Um, so this was great, uh, but we wanted something that would work uh, anywhere you can text uh, and, and uh, on any phone that can text. So we built a brand new plugin called Surveys, um, and this lets us collect structured information through really simple Q&A um, between the user and the server. Um, and we're envisioning um, really particular use cases uh, for this tool. Uh, and one uh, is, let's say you have a distributed network of, of health facilities. Um, and there's some point of contact at those facilities uh, that knows vital statistics. Um, vital drug stocks, how many hospital beds are available, um, et cetera. And they can text into the Frontline Hub. We can port that data over to uh, Google's Resource Finder. So you see the hospital profile here. Um, and each of these pieces can be updated by SMS now. So that's uh, something we're really excited about and would love feedback on. Uh, the second um, sort of announcement is that um, Dale Zach has just finished up uh, an offline mapping tab for Frontline SMS. So you can preset contact locations, and now we can map SMS, Frontline forms, surveys, uh, and MMS uh, offline, and then sync online uh, when we have uh, that connectivity. So I'm really excited about that for a couple of reasons, and one is I think um, the debate between crowdsourced information uh, and network sort of uh, reporting from closed networks, um, it's been a little bit combative over the last year or so. Um, I think that we can actually do both uh, and make use of layered data sets, and I think that this is gonna let us uh, start to work with NGOs that want to manage their network um, as well as manage crowdsourced data. Uh, and upload and sync with mapping instances hosted on the web uh, when available. Another thing I want to say really quickly uh, is that uh, with all of these text messages and forms and MMS coming in, uh, we found clinicians and people who are managing field staff need easier ways to sort through it and view it um, in sort of a people-based format. So we built uh, Patient View, which is a lightweight uh, patient record system that basically builds profiles based off of surveys, frontline forms, and SMS uh, of patients and of health workers. Um, so this is gonna let us do things um, like patient flags. So we'll set actions. Uh, so if a, a certain uh, field in a form deviates, let's say a child's weight changes uh, by more than five kilograms over a period of time, uh, we can trigger certain actions uh, like decision support, 
back to the community health worker, back to the field staff, or maybe an alert to the, to the doctors at that local clinic. So really what we're trying to do is to build uh, lightweight tools that we can deploy um, pretty much anywhere. Uh, and I would really love to get feedback from this group in particular. Um, so please find me uh, and, and let's talk. Thanks. Yeah.